Hi everyone, it's Lisa from A Simple Season. You know, in this day and age, we feel more stress and anxiety than ever before. And it's no wonder because we're being pulled in so many different directions by so many different things. We have stressful jobs and family obligations. We're juggling appointments. And on top of all of that, we have social media bombarding us every second of every day trying to command our attention. It's really enough to make you crazy. But if we take some cues from our grandparents' generations for simple living and our modern era as well, we can live happier and more fulfilled lives. So let's get started. The first thing is start your mornings off slowly. Try to have an hour in the morning where you spend a bit of time doing some gentle stretches or reading, or if the weather is nice, just sitting outside and relaxing with your coffee and a book. Keep your first hour calm and tech-free and your day will start out better. And spend some time watching and listening to birds because researchers have found that seeing and hearing birds helps improve our mental well-being. And they found that mood improved more when people saw birds rather than other natural things like trees or water since being near birds helps activate areas of the brain that help us feel content. Also, people in times past focused on fewer things. Wash day was Monday, ironing day was Tuesday, baking day was Saturday, and so on. And they actually got more done because they focused on fewer tasks. And that may seem odd to us in our day and age of multitasking, but it really does work. So one thing you might wanna try is maybe make a list of three things that you want to accomplish and don't overwhelm yourself. And if you have have time to do more then great do more but just focus on doing three things and that will make you feel like you accomplish something and it's even better if you can make one of those three things something that you can complete in under five minutes because then it will make you feel like you've actually done something and contributed to your day moving forward and if you don't get those three things done give yourself some compassion tomorrow is another day i think one of the ways you can tell the way our culture has shifted over the last 70 years or so is how our houses are configured. When my husband and I first got married, we lived in a very modern condominium and it had a huge walk-in closet and a huge bedroom and a teeny tiny kitchen with hardly any cupboards or counter space. And I think that is a defining feature of our culture today because there's more of an emphasis on having a place to store clothes and shoes than it is to have a place to spread out and cook. The house we live in now is different because it's a mid-century home so the closets are small the bedrooms are small and the electrical outlets are few but our kitchen is a nice size compared to the other rooms in our home and it is a place where we hang out and in those days there was more of a focus on having a place where people can gather and actually do the work of running a home and I think that is a great thing that we can implement in our lives today. The next thing is simple food. Just like everyone else, I get caught up in the busyness of my day sometimes. And the other day I was talking to my mom, telling her what a crazy day I was having and I needed to make something quick for dinner. And she said something very wise to me. She said, Lisa, don't make your food too quick because eating well and living well takes time. As some of you know, my parents immigrated from Italy a long time ago, and one of the things that they brought with them, which is still a big part of Italian food culture today, is the celebration of simplicity. There's a wonderful simplicity to Italian food, and there's no complicated sauces or unusual spices. It's all about letting the flavor of the ingredients shine. So taking the time to make and enjoy your meals is a wonderful thing to cultivate. Another saying that's really impacted me lately is the one that goes, you can never have enough of what you don't really need. And one of the advantages of applying elements of a more simple, slower life is it frees you from keeping up with the Joneses. 
because the pursuit of status symbols and material possessions is designed to be endless. It is designed to make you feel less than and make you feel like if you have better things, then somehow you'll become a better person. I think it's far better to be impressed by something someone does or the kind of person that they are and use that as a measure of success rather than the material possessions that they own. Taking pleasure in ordinary moments is also a wonderful thing. Things like sitting on your porch, drinking lemonade in the summertime, watching the passers-by, or chatting with a neighbor over the backyard fence, or organizing a potluck, or flying a kite on the perfect windy day. All of these things are simple. There's nothing elaborate, nothing complicated, but they show us to be present in the moment and enjoy the everyday things that we can do. And that's always a good thing. Also, families and communities were more tightly knit together. Now everyone knows that families aren't perfect and they certainly weren't perfect then either, but people put great value on their family and their social interactions. And the relationships, friendships that they cultivated helped them lead happier and more fulfilled lives because all of those things were nurtured and people helped each other out more. So that is certainly something that we can implement in our lives today. I've always thought springtime is such a great time to implement new habits and ideas into our lives. So hopefully you will have walked away with something new to try that will make your day-to-day -day life just a little bit better. Thanks so much for joining in everyone and we'll catch you in the next one.